What's up guys, today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to password protect your forms. I'm also gonna be showing you an alternative method to protecting your forms, but I'll go into that in the video. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and we help businesses integrate all of their systems and help optimize their processes to save them time and money. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video. All right, to get started, you wanna be in Airtable and you wanna be in whatever table you have your form in and that's where you'll do the editing to make the password and you can make it protected on other levels as well. If you haven't done like a form pre-fill yet, you'll wanna come in here and check out the video, the, actually the next recommended video, and check out how to make this pre-fill formula uh, to make like a URL where it pre-fills certain information in that table. But for the password protect, it's pretty easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come to your form, which over here, if you haven't made a form before, You'll come down here and you'll create a view and then you'll click form and you'll add it and add whatever questions you want to add and then you'll come up here and you'll click share form and then you'll there's two options so the first option is you can restrict access with a password and the second option is you can restrict access to an email domain so if i only want people in my company to do it to be able to edit this uh, i'll just do this email domain or if I just have a general form that other people will fill out, I'll just require this password. So for the password, you just type in your password. So I'll just type password and then set it. And then we'll go see what this form looks like. So if we just, so this is what it looks like when it pulls up, a password is required to view this content. So that was pretty easy. So that's all that one is. And then if you want to restrict access with an email domain, it's also pretty easy. So if I just type in mine, that'll be pretty easy. And then if you take that one off, I just want to remove the password. Um, so it's just that it'll only allow them to view it if they're in that whatever email domain you specify. So let's see what happens if we require both. So password. So they first have to be in that email domain and then it'll probably require a password afterwards. So that's how you set the password and that's how you restrict the access to the email domain. It's pretty easy, you just click the share form and then you toggle these on and off based on which one you want. And if you want to go back in and edit it, say you made a spelling error, you can come back in and edit that. Um, but yeah, that, that's the tutorial. Hope you found that helpful. If you have any other questions, throw them in the comments and like the video and click subscribe. Hope that was helpful and hope you have a great day. Thanks.